Hi guys! In this video, you'll see how the actors of the TV series Charlie's Angels 1976-1981 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they looked then and what's with them now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Kelly Garrett has been Charlie's operative for a long time. She's able to be observant, has a strong-willed nature and maintains clarity of mind even in deadly situations. Not devoid of perseverance, both in life and in work situations. Played by Jacqueline Smith. Sabrina Duncan has her stake in the Townsend Agency. She's not a passive person who don't like to sit in the office and can actively support an employees. But she doesn't live by the work and her loved ones are always a high priority for her. Played by Kate Jackson. Burke, Rick Casarla, is legally married to Erica. He doesn't have an honest nature, but doesn't show it openly. Has a weakness for the money. At the same time, he didn't achieve financial success, but uses the state of others, for which he's even ready to kill. Jill Monroe has worked with Kelly and is committed to maintaining law and order in the community and helping people. Able to act unexpectedly and fearlessly, but she's a responsible driver. Played by Farrah Fawcett, who died in 2009 of anal cancer. Julie Rogers has a hardened character and was able to fit in well with the Angels team. She can be categorical, willing to take risks, and is not used to fitting in and hiding her true opinion. Played by Tanya Roberts, who passed away from sepsis in 2021. John Bosley was an active help to Charlie until he betrayed Townsend. He is characterized by tactical thinking, some pretense in which he can be quite convincing, and a high aspiration for power. Played by David Doyle, who died of a heart attack in 1997. Laurie Archer has an inner core, understands some of the processes of transport logistics and always tries to find the best way out of the current situation, no matter how difficult it is. She is legally married to Tom. The role is performed by Sally Kirkland. Danny rails back. In the weather expanses feels completely in his element and often goes on long voyages all alone. He deeply values his independence and is not used to giving up additional income, even not entirely honest. The role was played by Dirk Benedict. Marion Moss is the legal wife of Steve. She's able to realistically assess her own strength, and if she cannot cope with any situation, she doesn't neglect to use the help of others. It doesn't differ in concentration and good reaction, played by Pat Crowley. Ed Fellows works with the sheriff to enforce law and order in the Payland area, but is not active in really serious and dangerous problems. Shows interest in models. Played by Danny Miller, who passed away from amyotrophic lateral sclerosis in 2014. Lieutenant Torres maintains law and order on the island of Ajo, doesn't practice bribery and is not used to being lazy at work, trying to be as useful to society as possible. Played by Sun Tech O, oh, who died of complications from Alzheimer's disease. Stacy Parrish was involved in the kidnapping of Steve Moss and was trying to easily get a huge ransom. She has a two-faced nature, is rather prudent and not without resourcefulness, especially when it comes to money matters. The role is played by Joanna Cassidy. Carl Hansworth is used to taking the path of least resistance and doesn't seek to become a trustworthy member of society, preferring to simply cash in on people. He's unprincipled and resourceful, played by Dennis Cole, who died in 2009 of liver failure. Bill Creel has a trusting relationship with Lemaris. He is not used to doubting himself and knows how to concentrate on the task at hand. Differs diligence, especially when it's well paid. Played by Bo Hopkins, who died in 2022 from a heart attack. 
Mumford, GW Belly, along with his partner, trades in home robberies and can also take a person hostage. He's not particularly intelligent, and even in his field, he may show some inexperience and stupidity. Has a somewhat crazy look when he sees his prey. Cindy Barton knows how to execute self-confidence, and most of the time she is quite difficult to take out of herself. She knows how to present herself, but is actually quite sly and calculating. Played by Anne Francis, who died of pancreatic cancer in 2011. Christine Hunter became one of the Townsend detective's clients to help her only sister, Elizabeth. Capable of decisive action, but prefers to act smartly and without haste. She is not characterized by selfish behavior. The role is performed by Lauren Tews. Scott Woodwill is one of the employees of a Townsend detective organization where, unlike the Angels, he dealt exclusively with legal issues and was almost the only one who saw Charlie, played by David Ogden Steers, who died in 2018 of bladder cancer. John Reardon specializes well in conducting hypnosis and has his own firm, Reardon Co., whose goal is not to help people at all, but to use hypnosis to create assassins. He's called blooded can be principled, and is quite cunning, played by Eric Braden. Professor Croydon was one of those who came to grips with Charlie's operatives. He's not devoid of deceit and is able to show cruelty, including against women. Croydon is somewhat inferior in agility to angels and has a slower reaction time. Holler prefers to keep the status of a business person but is mainly involved in illegal transactions. He often uses his power at the fact that he is stronger than a woman, shows purposefulness and sometimes can behave cowardly, played by Charles Cyphers. Kenny Daniels is an excellent roller skater and even occasionally gives lessons to beginners, including teaching his friend Chris Monroe. He knows how to explain well, is distinguished by initiative and tries not to offend his loved ones, played by Ed Begley Jr. Reggie Martin, Chris Mulkey, has partnered with Reed Morgan in roller skating and is especially seen at Venice Beach. He is somewhat self-confident, doesn't like to be distracted from training, but has excellent plasticity and knows how to feel the rhythm. Freddy is well acquainted with Evan Stone. Law and order and morality are clearly not his thing, and he doesn't even try to be. He is observant, has a good instincts, and can act quickly. Played by Vincent Chevalier, who died in 2005 from lung cancer. Bob Ahuna is naturally charismatic and likes to spend time in a pleasant company of women and at the same time tries to make the best possible impression. He knows how to be considerate to another person. The role is performed by Branscombe Richmond. Dave Pearl earns his living by carrying out serious robberies and not infrequently his target, like his partner, is Diamonds. He is not highly intelligent, not much of a talker and not inclined to compassion. He is capable of murder, played by Bill Duke. Steve doesn't tend to be outspoken, even with people he likes, but is generally confident and doesn't try to hide his actions. He is quite intelligent and is able to quickly respond to the boss signal, played by Dak Rambo, who died of AIDS in 1994. Richie, Robert Davy, is not known for his benevolent nature. He looks down, assessing the situation. He is not characterized by the gullibility and openness of ordinary people. He only says what is required. Richie is very interested in profit opportunities. Evan Wilcox, by his very appearance, shows that he is not a virtue and a diligent citizen. He is not one of those who just like that will help a person, but for the good pay he is ready to commit murder knows how to use firearms.
Tiffany Wells. He is one of Townsend's operatives. She is able to work cohesively with other colleagues and doesn't try to show her superiority over others, but at the same time doesn't have a particularly warm relationship with them. Played by Shelley Hack. Chris Monroe, Cheryl Ladd, is closely related to Jill. She is highly learnable, but for the most part precisely in those things that she is most interested in. Chris is quite skillful, has a good memory, and can perform many tricks successfully for the first time. Marty positions himself as a self-confident person who, with his whole appearance, tries to show what a significant role he occupies often shows selfishness to others, likes to drink whiskey and smoke cigars. The role is performed by Eugene Robert Blazer. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it and of course subscribe to the channel.